As Fifi the Clown, I had been asked several times to entertain at the Children's Treehouse Museum, and it was currently located at that time in the Ogden City Mall. I loved um, going to the treehouse. All the children that were there were just so much fun, and the shows were just a delight to do. No matter what they asked at the treehouse, I would always try to come up with something. No matter what they asked or what time they asked, I would make the best effort I could to be there and perform. In the beginning, um, as I've said before, I couldn't afford to always take people with me. Um, there's such a large cost when you first start getting into magic and basically any money that you do get, you put back in. I think for the first five years I had to put every cent that I made back in to try and build the business up. So when I was asked to do a double magic show on a weekend at the Ogden City Mall uh, for the Children's Treehouse Museum, was delighted. Had uh, everything ready to go and had all the props and everything for the two different time slots and uh, went off to the mall. Whenever I'd get there, uh, the employees at the treehouse were just delightful. Would do whatever they needed to help me get set up and get ready and, and ready for the performance. Both shows went wonderfully. Because there were two shows, I had an extra amount of props and material with me. And I have two wheeled carts that I can put a lot of the props into. So two or three hundred pounds of magic props can easily be moved. And uh, on this particular day, I had both carts with all the props and everything. Um, I had both uh, carts filled to the top, plus I'd have to link one cage under each arm and squeeze and then roll these carts that were filled to the brim. Now, on this particular night, I had finished up and the mall closed. My last show was at the end, but it usually takes me a good 20 to 30 minutes to load everything up, uh, get the animals packed safely in their kennels, all the things that need to be done. And so it was like this, the mall had been closed for over a half hour. It was dark outside. And um, there was a problem at the Ogden City Mall, the parking. The parking was a terrace kind of parking, and it had lots of twists and turns, terrible lighting, terrible safety concern in that parking place. I absolutely hated it, but I had to park there um, because the treehouse was in between floors. It wasn't on the ground level, and um, I couldn't, with all these props, go up and down stairs. I had to park on the level where I could use the ramp that would go up and down to where I'd park my car. So when I got everything loaded up, uh, one of the treehouse employees walked with me uh, out of the treehouse and to um, the exit of the mall. Got out there, she waved goodbye to me and I started my way pulling all my stuff, going up the ramp with these two carts. It's pitch black. And by now, it looks like there is no one around. Um, the lights are off at the entrance. It's dark. Uh, it's dark going up the ramp. I can't see what's going ahead. I can only assume that everybody's gone home, right? Well, as I'm pulling up the ramp, and the ramp zigzags, so you go up this way, and then you have to go up that way. As I turned that and got halfway up, there is a place where there's stairs, and then the ramp goes up to the next place. Sitting on the stairs was a group of teenage boys. Um, they looked like a gang. It was scary. I thought, what am I going to do? I have 300 pounds of equipment. I can't run. I've got my animals, who are like my children, protect those with my life. Are they going to steal all my stuff? I don't have any money on me. I don't know what to do. So I just see them all sitting there and they're all, you know, and have their sweat, whatever they call those things on and looking pretty tough, pretty scary. And it's dark. And I think all I can do is go, hi. And then here I think I'm going to be dead. I think 
everything's going to be stolen. I'll be beaten up. My animals will be hurt. But no. One of the guys goes, Hey, Fifi, you remember me? And I'm like, Hi! Had no clue who it was, but act as if, right? Hey, Fifi, you remember you did my party when I was five? Oh, you have grown up so much! Oh, my goodness! Fifi, you need some help with all that? Oh, I would love it. Immediately, all these young men that had me terrified jumped up, ran over, grabbed a kennel, grabbed a kennel, grabbed a cart, and walked with me. We saw your, we saw your Fifi mobile in the parking lot, Fifi. We're going to help you. They walked up. I got to the car, opened up the trunk, opened up the doors. With tenderness and kindness, they loaded everything into the car for me. It was sweet. It was wonderful. I thought I was going to be dead. Lesson learned. Don't judge. Good people come in all shapes and sizes. All colors and all backgrounds. Look for the good.